They might be in a situation where for some reason your MetaQuest controller buttons are just not working. Now what does this mean? Well this can mean a lot of different things, but it possibly means that the buttons within your controller are just not completely working as you're using it. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is notice if you click on a button, does the controller actually turn on? You can see right there there's a little light indicator right there. If you see that light, then you, that might mean your controller just isn't connected to your specific headset. But if your headset, you know, if that light isn't turning on right here, you might want to go and double check your batteries. So open up this battery compartment on the side. You can do that by clicking on this button right here and this little compartment will come down. And what I would recommend doing is taking a close look at this battery. Take a look at this battery and make sure that it is charged or if it's like, you know, whatever battery type you have, whatever battery type you have, you want to go ahead and make sure that it is a newer battery or it has some battery life left in it. If it doesn't, or if you're having issues with that, then that's probably going to be the number one problem that you're going to be having. So and that in and of itself is what I would recommend looking at. So go ahead, take a look here. Go ahead and pretty much just plug this thing straight back in here. Replace this battery, do what you got to do. But then at that point, you should kind of be okay. Now, if that's still not working and you're doing that and you're still having issues, the next thing I'd recommend doing is to actually go through and see if you can repair this controller to your headset. You will have to use your phone application to do this. So I have a video linked down in the description that I'll show you how to do it. It's kind, of a it's kind of a different process, but go ahead and watch that video if you want to go ahead and you know learn how to repair it. If for some reason that doesn't end up working, you can always try restarting this headset. So go through, hold down this side button of your headset to completely power it off, give it a few moments, power back on, and you want to go ahead and then turn on your controller again by clicking on the buttons, turn on this head, you know, controller, and you might see that this controller ends up randomly working. Things like that happen all the time, it's so random, but those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.